down to the last eight. The competition you sense rapidly heading towards its big climax. A dash for the finishing line, the showpiece final. Welcome to our live coverage of quarter-final day. It is good to have you with us. And you can see that the atmosphere is building very nicely. Super noise, grand level of expectation, and that is only rising as we head. Wales have been eliminated. Just as expectations were building, so they are dashed. For them, there will be no semi-final. Any reflections on what you've seen, Jim? Look, it's the end of an adventure that will have taught them a great deal about how to handle these games in the future. If losing does make you stronger, they'll certainly be back. gets really serious top teams now fielding their best available lineups in front of big big crowds a lot of noise great expectation and the sense that the possibility of silverware is at hand this is nobody will be questioning their appetite to, to get it won well, after two long hours it comes down to nerve to technique under pressure to penalties Boy, you can feel the tension. So, the first penalty. And he puts them one up. Good penalty, completely wrong foot of the keeper. Suso focusing on where he puts it. Coolly done, one each. He just did what he was asked. So, the second man in line. No, he hasn't scored. Isco is the second man to step up for his team. That's how it's done, he made the keeper commit. How confident was that? Backed himself all the way. He's missed it, and the keeper was out of the picture. Spain have the chance to pull away here. Keeper's gone the wrong way, and they're two up. Denmark must score here to stay in it. It's there, and the fight goes on. He was always looking good there. Nice penalty. Kasper Schmeichel must keep this out. This is match point. And there it is, the decisive kick. Denmark have been eliminated. Just as expectations were building, so they are dashed. For them, there will be no semi-final. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? Look, it's the end of an adventure that will have taught them a great deal about how to handle these games in the future. If losing does make you stronger, they'll certainly be back. gets really serious. 
Top teams now fielding their best available lineups in front of big, big crowds. A lot of noise, great expectation, and the sense that the possibility of silverware is at hand. This is learning from your mistakes and, and growing as a team. So this can act as a good learning curve for them. In defeat, there are still positives to take from this. Look exhausted, but one last act. We're back in a moment for penalties. It is so important to score the first one. And he's found the net. Brilliantly done. Never took his eye off the keeper either. Piontek is next up. Cooley done. One each. He just did what he was asked. So, the second man in line. It's in. Too smart for the keeper. Yeah, made his mind up very quickly and just didn't waver. And so the captain steps up. Good penalty, just steered it the other way. Looks like he's done it a thousand times, never looked like missing. Memphis Depay will take the third penalty. He puts red back beautifully. Oh, that's a super save from the keeper. The third man in the queue. No, it's been saved. I think the keeper's done really well to save that. He deserves a pat on the back from his teammates. Oh, what a save! That's a lovely stop from the keeper. He's got his teammates proud with that one. Nashikovsky is fourth up. Great stop. Keeper's denied him. Oh, the keeper's done brilliantly to keep his eye on the ball and make such a great save. Well, it's never easy to step up and take a penalty, but he slotted that home with authority. Lest you need reminding, miss this, and it is over. Oh, nerveless! Three each. And now we're into the realms of sudden death. And the keepers come up, Trumps. He's so focused there, fantastic save. Sillison must save it. And that has lifted the roof! The Netherlands have been eliminated. Just as expectations were building, so they are dashed. For them, there will be no semi-final. Let me look back on the game then, Jim. 
Listen, losing is never a nice experience. So we're down to the last eight. The competition you sense rapidly heading towards its big climax. A dash for the finishing line, the showpiece final. Welcome to our live coverage on quarter-final day. It is good to have you with us. And you can see that the atmosphere is building very nicely. Super noise, grand level of expectation, and that is only rising as we head towards kickoff time. Keepers now. So it comes down to this, a final rallying cry, and then kicks from the spot. And he puts them one up. Oh, that was a great strike, he just gave the keeper absolutely no chance. Cooley done, one each. He just did what he was asked. Chiesa is the man who's second in line. Well, he's filled up and struck that with great confidence. That's a superb spot kick. And stepping up, the skipper. I thought he did really well to hold his nerve then and score that penalty. Pagliarella is third in line. Good penalty, just steered it the other way. How confident was that? Backed himself all the way. The third man in the queue. Oh, he saved it! That's a lovely stop from the keeper. He's done his teammates proud with that one. This to double their advantage. Oh, what a save! Well, that's great concentration from the keeper and a wonderful save. He steps up to take the fourth penalty. Great stop, keeper's denied him. I think the keeper's done really well to save that. He deserves a pat on the back from his teammates. Jorginho to end it here and now. Oh, he saved it! Oh, that's a super save from the keeper. So it's down to him to keep it alive. Saved! And there's your hero! Italy through to the last four. Just two more steps now. They have got a crack at it. Well, it's been such a long match, and the penalty shootout is always a difficult way to end the game. But I thought they did.